pain medicine kind of evolved as an offshoot of anesthesia. We were the people that were trained to do epidurals, so naturally we evolved into uh, doing epidurals for back and neck, and now the field's kind of taken off into doing procedures, but also kind of comprehensive pain management for all different types of chronic pain complaints. The important thing is to differentiate chronic pain from acute pain. Acute pain is something that your hand's on a fire. It's an adaptive mechanism in which it causes you to remove your hand from that fire. Chronic pain persists for greater than one to six months. It's not necessarily designed to help the individual. It can be you know, pathologic, which is bad. Um, and it's something that doesn't necessarily have a cause that, you know, say for instance, like a cancer or a cut. I don't think that there's necessarily a best candidate for pain procedures. I think that there are a number of different pain complaints and pain diagnoses that lend themselves to be, uh, to be more amenable to a specific pain procedure. Um, but I really think it has to do with uh, where the individual's coming from and what they've had done prior to getting here um, and what their actual diagnosis is. It's really anyone who wants to um, explore different options uh, for pain relief, whether it's their first time that they've experienced back pain, neck pain, or they're someone who's who've kind of been there, done that, and have had every known procedure done to their knee, their back, uh, their leg. Uh, there is something that we can offer. Um, there are new things that are coming out uh, every day uh, from anywhere from minimally invasive spinal procedures to a really exciting new field with regenerative medicine.